Savannah leaders say no one has been murdered in the city this year, a positive point they want to draw attention to. Gun crimes, however, still remain a problem as 14 people have been shot in 2023. WTOC's Camille Syed spoke with Mayor Van Johnson, who says he's grateful fewer lives have been lost. While there have been several gun related crimes in Savannah so far this year, Mayor Van Johnson says that the last homicide happened in late December. Now he says many moving parts play a role in the lack of lives taken. No killings in January and February. This had not happened uh, in our recorded history at least 20 years. Mayor Johnson says the number of homicides in the past two months can change if any of the 14 people who have been shot this year die from their injuries, then the number of killings will no longer be zero. Still, he says he's proud of how hard the community has worked together to get to where they are today. There have been many dedicated folks, not only with the Savannah Police Department, but with our ONES office, uh, increasing in community engagement and our faith leaders. There have been 49 gun related crimes this year as of last Friday. According to Savannah Police, that number puts the city at four shootings less than this time last year. That number does not include the shooting on Pennsylvania Avenue this week where a teen was shot in the leg. Mayor Johnson says he knows work still needs to be done, but he recognizes the achievement. We have not buried anybody. Uh, again, this still requires, I think, some significant action from our state um, for us to make sure that we are dealing with uh, issues of gun availability. It takes significant work from our prosecutorial community uh, to make sure that uh, we are seeing a very clear message that gun violence and trigger pulling is not acceptable in our community. A community trying to tackle gun violence for many lives' sake. Camille Syed, WTOC News. To take a look at this report, you can head over to our website, WTOC.com. Just look for this story on our homepage. Buller County's fire department will use a federal grant to